30,000 in some jewelry just to show off Walking with a limp, got a 30, bitch, go off Triple in Tiago, but I step on you and Bottega's Always been that bitch that he won't, but he ain't it Make him drop it like it's hot, spin a bag on you Make him drop it like it's hot, so tag for you Got some money, check the stats I've been round the world and back Still ain't mad at man worthy of this cat not a man near wordy of this cat Got the home run pussy, homie cheering when I back Check the boards, I've been throwing numbers up I've been round the world and back Only fucking with a nigga if he got racks Yeah, ooh, it's like that No, there's nothing that I like Put my city on my back, 23 I ain't talking you and me, it's in my DNA I'm talking 96 to 98 And I put that on God, don't hate Don't hate cause I Hi you guys, it's your girl Judy and I am going to do a really quick video because y'all I have tried to record this like eight times and my phone keeps shutting off because I need more storage and yes y'all I am back on my iPhone thugging it out because I just had a photo shoot and I'm like super lazy right now so I just want to push out something because I promised that I would okay. So this video is obviously a why I did baddies ATL. A lot of people are always asking me on social media, DMing me, you know, when I see fans out in public, they're like, are you ever going to do baddies? And I'm like, I did baddies. And then a lot of other people who know I did baddies are like, are you ever going to come back to baddies? And no, I am never going to come back to baddies. But anyway, I am going to get into why I did baddies. So... Baddies came about at the end of the pandemic, uh, in like 2020, the end of the pandemic. So, well, not the end of the pandemic, but it was like the middle of, hell, the pandemic is still going on. Okay. But it came together like in October of 2020, I got a DM and it was all the other bad girls, you know, girls I haven't talked to in years. And they're like, yo, you know, um, you see what Blueface got going on? So, yes, technically, Baddies ATL came about because of Blueface. Blueface, as you know, was on OnlyFans with his Blue Girls Club. Um, and he was doing numbers. He was making, like, millions of dollars on OnlyFans with women who were never bad girls. You know what I'm saying? So, we all were, like, kind of, like, if he's making that much money for a knockoff Bad Girls Club show with the women who aren't even bad girls, imagine what we can make as actual bad girls. And at this time, you know, Bad Girls Club ended in 2017. Our fans really miss us, you know, and it was, like I said, during the pandemic, you know, this is the perfect time to come back and, you know, give the fans what they want. So at the end of the day, it was originally supposed to be on OnlyFans. And I know you guys know all of this tea, you know, the B, the bad B reunion and all that stuff. And I'm not here to get into the nitty gritty of that because Sarah already served y'all the meat and potatoes and all of that. The shadiness, what happened, all of that. At the end of the day, I exited the group chat because they were really going to give y'all like OnlyFans content. Like I'm talking bad girls gone wild i still have the screenshots like these girls were going okay and i'm just thinking like that's not what the fans want they want us to come back but not like this you know what i'm saying and it's not on brand for me um you know but shout out to only fans because they did partner with baddies atl um on their streaming platform watch of tv so shout out to them that sponsorship endorsement for us that was a really big deal and i'm also gonna use my only fans for you know foodie content hashtag a bite with judy booze brews and rendezvous it's something i'm working on so stay tuned but yeah so i do have an only fans but like i said that came about because of our partnership with them but i'm not an only fans girl y'all know this so when they were you know pushing that I was like, yeah, this doesn't resonate with me, so I'm going to have to roll out. And I was the first bad girl to, like, leave the chat. And then shortly after that, Tanisha left the chat. And whatever happened between, like, me leaving the chat and January, you know, all that drama with the other girls and stuff. Yeah, that ain't got nothing to do with me because Judy was still very much booked and busy and doing her. Period. But I got a call, like at the beginning of January from Natalie and she's like, Judy, please, please, please do Baddies ATL. Well, we didn't know the show name yet, but she was like, please do this show. You know, how are we going to come back as bad girls without you? You know, you're like an icon. You're, you know, everybody loves you from the show. Literally, like it wouldn't be the same without you. So that's a fact. Literally, Natalie begged me to do Baddies. Um, 
So I was like, okay, why not? At the end of the day, you know, it was a pandemic. You know, a lot of money slowed down. A lot of places were closed. Even though I was still getting bookings, I wasn't getting bookings how I usually get. You know, the world was shut down. So, yes, I did it for the bag and to come back and give the fans what they want. You know, I love you guys. Y'all got y'all have supported me all these years, all this time. It was literally just the best time to come back, you know? Um so yeah, that's why I did Baddies ATL. Oh, and also because it was a new platform. You know, I never did Zeus. Zeus is a black owned network, you know. So I was like, yeah, you know, another network under my belt. Why not? Um, and I know I talk like a lot of crap and I be shady and stuff, but that isn't directed at like Zeus or Lemmy or the CEOs or stuff like that. It's more so directed at the girls, you know, because they tried it with me on Baddies ATL. But they ended up looking dumb as hell. Uh, I was the most booked. I got the most followers. My followers went up like 100K. Um, but I really think that's from like Hulu because at the same time, Bad Girls Club went to Hulu, Tubi, you know, you could stream Love Games 3 on Amazon Prime and stuff. We started hitting like all the streaming platforms. So I think that a lot of my followers blew up because of me getting introduced to a new generation. You know, if they didn't know me from 2011 and all the shows that I did, they know me now, you know. So I don't think that really came from baddies, but a lot of opportunities did come, you know, after baddies. So I do not regret it. Um, but would I ever do it again? No. And it's just because the show doesn't resonate with me. I'm happy that it found its lane, its demographic, its audience, but that ain't, you know, my audience, my demographic, you know, um, it's super ghetto and I'm, you know, I'm lit and stuff, but I'm not like ghetto as hell. And I'm not into like fighting. I'm not a fighter. Uh, you know, I'm a party girl. I'm really into like, you know, like spirituality now and stuff. And y'all could tell that I was kind of over that type of stuff on Baddies ATO. You know, a lot of people tell me I showed the most growth on that show. That's why I walked off and left, you know. And I'm going to get more into why I left and why I think Baddies ATO flopped um, in my next video. So stay tuned for that. But this video is basically just talking about, you know, like why I did Baddies ATO. Um, but yeah, you know, I like outgrew it and stuff. I was just over it and you could tell you know, my parents transitioned and I just feel like that was such a major part of my life and molded me into a completely different woman with different values and different views. And I just look at stuff differently, think of stuff differently. You know, once you go through something like that, you can never really go back to how you were. I'm still Judy, but I'm a more advanced Judy. I'm a more elevated Judy, you know, like elevation and the level up is here, you know. And on top of that, um, you know, I became a reunion host, you know, shout out to Ruckus and Duchess at Out TV, the streaming platform, Tiffany Pollard has her own show on. It's the first LGBTQ streaming platform. So shout out to them for giving me the opportunity to host the Ruckus and Duchess reunion. You guys can watch that on Amazon Prime. I did great, you know, and that's more on the path of where I want to go in my career and what I went to college for broadcast journalism. I wanted to be a VJ like Roxy. You know, like Lala and um, Terrence and AJ and Free and, you know, like that. And VJ, um, I love music, you know, but I do music. So, you know, I'm in my hosting bag. I also hosted Gemini Films Bad Boys Reunion. I'm also going to make a video on that. Like, why did I do it? My experience and stuff like that. Y'all can watch it on YouTube and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm also in my acting bag. I have a movie out right now under Dame Dash Studios. On Tubi, it was trending. It dropped back in February. It trended for months. Um, it's called Hell in My Life, the Stacey Stack story. It's based on a true story. So I also just filmed part two. That will be coming out soon. I am working on like a lot of stuff. Shout out to Now That's TV, Deja Vu uh, 2, Las Vegas. They just aired my song on the intro of that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in my, my music bag. My EP drops on New Year's Eve. I'm in my acting bag. Uh, I'm in my hosting bag. I am doing a lot of stuff that I've always dreamed of doing. So I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful, you know, and I, I want to do a lot of stuff in the industry, more on the substance side and the talent side, you know, now would I still do reality TV? Absolutely. You know, but it has to make sense. Like I would definitely do, um, house of villains. You know, I did Bjorn and Murray's podcast, 
a year ago and they said they have something in the works and i really think that that was it because it gives Bianca Murray, you know, they love competition shows and that's what that show gives. Um, and they told me I'm like at the top of the list for anything that they do. So call me. I would definitely do that show. I would definitely do like College Hills, Celebrity Edition, Real Housewives of Atlanta. I live in Atlanta. You know, it just has to make sense. But a show like Baddies and stuff, it just doesn't resonate with me anymore. Um, but I am thankful that Bad Girls Club is finally getting the flowers that they deserve, that I deserve, that we deserve. Because so many times, you know, people didn't want to give us flowers and would kind of like hate on us, you know. But in reality, we are the blueprint. And we're the blueprint of all these shows that are popping up, all these little networks and stuff. Literally, they all want to be like Bad Girls Club. And, you know, I just talked about Bianca Murray. They are the creators of Bad Girls Club. And they are the creators of the very first reality show that made their mark you know what i'm saying and that's with um real world you know what i'm saying so i'm just happy that everybody is showing how they really feel now they love bad girls club they always have even if they try to deny it and a lot of these girls auditioned for bad girls club and didn't make it and is trying to relive their dream on baddies so yeah that is why i did baddies atl do i regret it no um i'm thankful i'm grateful for every opportunity and experience and yeah, but I'm going to get into more of like why I walked off the show and stuff like that and why I think it flopped and stuff. And um, yeah, I have a lot of content coming. So you guys stay tuned. I just wanted to chop it up with y'all and just, you know, let people know why I did Baddies ATL and why I really wouldn't do it again. But congratulations to the show and um, the success of it. And yeah, I'm just not really, you know, with that anymore. Um, but yeah, stay tuned to all of my other indie viewers and everything I have out. Um, oh, and my candle. Yes, Milk and Cookies. This is my holiday candle. It drops on Black Friday, so midnight on Thanksgiving. Shout out to everybody who supported my Halloween candle. It was a bomb, and this candle is just as great. My whole house smells like a cookie shop right now, literally, like a bakery. Um, it's definitely given Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> so definitely you guys support me with this. Everybody loves it. It's super cute. And it comes with like a cookie wax melt. You guys are going to love it. Literally eat it up. Even though it's not edible. But it smells edible. It looks edible. And it's definitely a treat for the holidays. So yeah. I love you guys so much. And make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know about some video ideas. I know in my recent video, I saw somebody say talk about my BBO and that's a great idea. So I definitely have a BBO experience coming too. Um, but yeah, you guys, thank you guys for rocking with me. I love y'all so much. And yes, share this video and let's run up my YouTube because I'm back, period. Mwah. 30,000 and some jewelry just to show off Walking with a limp, got a 30, bitch, go off Triple in Tiago, but I step on you and both takers Always been that bitch that he won't, but he ain't it True. Make him drop it like it's hot, spin a bag on you Make him drop it like it's hot, spin